<clears throat> Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is a productive cannabis connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So today what I wanted to do is uh, a rolling joint smoke session and um, just talking about the commission piece I'm working on and also a painting that I am trying to sell. And in the midst of all that, cannabis fits in because cannabis helps me to be pain free and stress free when I'm creating. As I said in the introduction, I deal with um, arthritis in my knees and ankles, I deal with um, panic attacks attributed to PTSD and I also um, have been experiencing other pains in my body other than in my knees and ankles. I've been feeling pain in, in my jump, my thumb joint and all the way through my arm. So um, yeah, it this cannabis has been helping me tremendously because if I didn't have this kind of pain relief I wouldn't be able to do the kind of art that I do and to finish this commission that I'm working on. So I've been um, taking breaks when I need to and um, continuing when I'm ready to. And I've been working on it every day. Um, I'm getting a lot of progress and I'm having a lot of fun with it. And it's even more fun when I'm pain free. And um, the people that I bought my medicine from, my herbal medicine, is named Hazy Tree, Hazy Tree Farms. So you can check them out online if you live in my area in California. Go to the website and you'll know. I'm not going to tell you where I live. <laughs> exactly in California. I just like to be anonymous in that way. So, so I got some shake. And that's something that um, Hazy Tree sells. She's, they sell shake for a really good price. Um, and last night I did some edibles. Not edibles. I did some uh, dabs of shatter that they sell. I bought um, the Platinum OG uh, Shatter and also the Sour Diesel Shatter. So. I like both of them, but my preference is towards Platinum OG. Uh, we had grown some Platinum OG a long time ago, and it was very good. Um, yeah, I feel kind of heartbreaking broken because I can't grow like I used to. I live in this small apartment, and I can't grow at the scale that I used to. I can't grow... I don't feel I don't feel comfortable growing here at all to tell you the truth. Um, and that's another story. But um but yeah, it's uh prices are can be very um unaffordable here in California and um even when you're getting a discount on uh prices, uh I just feel like it's so weird going from like being somebody who um who grew their own herb to being somebody who buys from someone else. Um, it's just a whole different experience that I don't really enjoy that much, to tell you the truth. I like I like what I've been partaking in. It's been very nice and lovely. But the truth is, I prefer to be the grower, the person that's growing my own herb. Just like the person I prefer to be growing my lettuce or my carrots or potatoes is me. So, um... I won't be fully satisfied till I'm actually growing everything that I partake in. But in the meantime, I've been able to find a place that's decent as far as prices and um, kind. So that that really helps. It makes all the difference in the world. So what's weird is that when people know that you don't have much as far as money, they, it seems like with me at least they treat me differently. You know, because they assume something about me that it's not true, assuming that my finances are way above what they are, <laughs> and then people just treat me when they find out that I'm not what they think that I am, then they treat me like shit, <laughs> right? It's crazy, and I'm not, I'm sure I'm not alone in this, but whatever. People do what they want to do. You just have to stay focused on what you're doing. And that's all there is to it. And if you hear that sound in the background, that's my heater. <laughs> it's kind of cold in here. 
this morning. So, I think I made it to like 39 degrees last night. Uh, that's cold here for me. <laughs> I don't like anything below 75 degrees to each. <laughs> 75 degrees is a perfect weather for me. <laughs> Alright, almost got all this ground up. I'm going to make a few joints. I'm starting to run low on herb. Um, so that's only because I've been doing a lot of edibles, <laughs> baking uh, with the shake, and making a lot of fun stuff. Making some cookie, edible cookies, um, edible cookies, <laughs> making some medical, medible cookies, <laughs> medicated cookies, and um, pies, little bitty pies I made that were medicated, and yeah. <laughs> I'm almost all baked out. The last baked good I'm making is a pecan pie. I debated uh, whether or not I want to make little small ones like I did with the other ones because they're cute. They're handheld pies, and that way you don't have to you don't have to commit to a whole pie. You can, you can just have a little tiny one. So, and those tiny pies are pretty thick, so <laughs> it's like eating a whole pie. <laughs> it feels like it at least. Alright, I got my shake pretty much ground up. Now I'm going to um, roll some joints. Okay. Hope you guys are having a good day. Hope uh, things are going your way. It's always nice when that happens. You know what? I just remember I dabbed it. A lot of times I don't clean off the dab um, wand all, all the time and leave it on there so that I can heat it up and smear it onto my joint paper. So I'm going to go and grab that and I'll be right back. And I'm back. I switched over where it's more light. Jeez, wouldn't I do this sooner? Yeah. You see that on the outside? That's a bunch of my art that I'm organized. This stuff in the closet, I'm organizing that. So don't get on me about it. <laughs> I'm doing it. It's just hard to do it all myself. <laughs> Right, so here we go. Did I just lose my paper? Okay. So basically, what I did was I brought along my um, my dab tool, and it still has see, it still has concentrate on it, and a little bit of fuzz from my from my sweater, but I got that off. But yeah, it's got concentrate on it still, so I can dab. I not dab. I could dab with it, but what I'm gonna do is light it up so that it gets hot. And then I can smear it on to the clear uh, trip paper. So first of all, I gotta find my lighter. And that's always the task, isn't it? Let's see. Did I put it in here? Oh, I know where I put it. So, hold up. Let me pause this. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Yee! <laughs> I got my lighter. Got my rainbow leggings on. <laughs> Yeah, I got these rainbow leggings at the thrift store. Really good deal. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, I'm low on clothing. I don't have much for a wardrobe, but what I got, it's alright. <laughs> deal with what I have. So basically what I'm going to do is... I got a little bit of a herb on there, it's okay. But basically what I'm going to do is uh, light this up, get it hot, and then smear it onto the uh, rolling paper. So, here we go. It doesn't take that long to heat it up, too. Just, and then just smear it onto the paper, like so. It may not look like a lot, but this little bit of concentrate on this paper is going to take this joint to the next level. So, that's what it looks like. So, I'm going to put some herb on there that I just ground up. I've been using this as a dab uh, tool holder, <laughs> this shell. <laughs> Hey, whatever works, right? <laughs> so, here we go. You get to hear the, num the numbing and the tranquil sound of the white noise of the heater. <laughs> Isn't it great, kids? <laughs> kids. I'm a kid, too, guys. <laughs> Alright. All right. So, I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. Today's Sunday for me. Um... It has been quite the week, that's for sure. <laughs> Some ups and downs, but a lot of ups, definitely. And especially that guitar strap I've been working on, um, that commission piece that I um, 
I've been working on every day, and every day I learn something about these these symbols I'm making. Not just through research and reading and all that, just by tuning in. Um, when I partake of cannabis, I tune in to the spirit world. I tune in to um, what my angels have to tell me. I tune into those two gods, the gods and goddesses that um, look after me. I tune into all of that. I tune into what's going on in the world. I tune into what I think that person might need when I'm creating that piece of artwork. Because when I, um, when the person, this person asked me to commission me to do this guitar strap, um, and he just gave me liberty to put all the symbols and things that I usually do in my artwork, um, I all of a sudden saw a pattern of how I wanted to look in my head. So, yeah. These are not easy to, to roll because they're slippery and slick. <laughs> and they're king size. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering what's taking you so long, that's what's taking me so long. <laughs> it's a king size. <laughs> yeah. I'm more into, you know, standard size joint papers, but whatever. I'd like to find these in standard size, the trip. Um, that comes in a, in a big quantity like I like. That's what the problem is like I was trying to find the trip papers in the amount that I want. But I don't want to get like just like 20 trip papers or whatever. I want to get all case of them. But uh, not the um... Shit, this, this joint's... <laughs> this joint's having technical difficulties but whatever. Please stand by. But yeah. I think it's gonna work. I think it is. That's the thing with this, these papers is like, if you try to, if I try to do a full size, like I've told you before on videos, sometimes it turns out, sometimes it doesn't, and I really want this to turn out because this has to concentrate on it, so, if not, this will be the ultimate fail. Nah, it'll be fine. Just don't think about it too much, right? There, okay. This side's getting a little crumpled up. Time to do some surgery. <laughs> Alright, we go. But yeah, um, this week's been, uh, it's been filled with some crazy shit, but it's been filled with some really optimistic things as well. So, that's really good. Um, and usually that, that happens for me when I, when I uh, meditate. When I meditate every day. Every single day. Part of my meditation is creating art. It really is. That's part of my meditation is creating art. And it helps keep me focused. On It helps with other areas of my life. It helps me to be more patient in other areas of my life as well. And I know a lot of artists have found that too. Because if you're an artist and you're working, you're the type of artist that works on art that's very meticulous and detailed, you have to have patience. There's no other choice. You just have to have patience. But... If you don't have patience, then, you know, you'll rush through it and it'll look like crap. If you're trying to, like, make it look, you know, good, but really fast, at least for me, um, I don't work like that, so. I don't work till exhaustion. I work until, um, like, okay, I need to take a break from this and come back to it tomorrow. So, I usually start off, um, you know, my day with doing the art. And then, um, work as much as I feel like I can work on it, take a break, do some housework and stuff, and then, uh, get back into it. And by the time evening comes, I don't want to work on it, that commission because I don't want to be doing it if I'm not, you know, if I'm not fully aware of what I'm doing, you know. So, I'm fully cognizant and awake. <laughs> Even though I do go into a trance-like state when I create art. I still like to be, um, not like almost falling asleep, you know what I mean? So, yep. There is a trance-like state where you're almost falling asleep, uh, where it is, it is really interesting what happens when you do like automatic writing or automatic drawing, um, but that's not what I'm doing with this project, so it's a whole different type of focus. So, I do get into a trance-like state when I'm working on this, uh, guitar strap, but it's a different state of mind because I'm doing it when I just woke up, 
right after I've meditated or listened to mantras, and then I'm in that mode, so, yep. Cheers, I rode the joint. It looks kind of, so kind of weird, but especially for those who are not used to clear uh, trip papers, this is what they look like. Um, and then uh, this is a, the brand name, Trip. So if you wanted to buy them, and Trip, if you want to sponsor me, feel free to do so. <laughs> I can use the help. Cheers, everyone. Oh, yeah, that's good. Adding that extra really helps. Um, because I'm starting to get low on trim. And I won't be able to recap till probably the end of next week. So, um, be savvy and make it strong. <laughs> so. so, let me grab that commission piece I'm talking about. <coughs> So, here it is. You can also see um, when I first started it on, through pictures on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I haven't put anything on Twitter about it yet, but I will. Um, yeah, I just don't get around to Twitter all the time. Then things up. It's enough trying to get to these two main ones that I go to. You know? So, here we go. If you have, yeah, like I said, if you haven't seen any photos or any video footage of... Um, the guitar shop when I first started, please check that out. Um, I have videos on my Dark Moon Doll channel as well. For those who don't want to see uh, the smoking, smoke partaking on that channel. Um, those two different channels. So, um, but yeah, this is what I've gotten so far. I just chose to use green, a green strap. I don't know, it was just calling me, but this is what we got so far. And I'm almost down at the bottom of it. <clears throat> Like I said, I was gonna do. I was gonna go to the bottom, put carry out the the sign to the end of the uh, guitar strap, and then come in with more detail. So we got the skull, the snake, and the all-seeing uh, eye in the hand, the seer, and that motif is carried out throughout the whole uh, strap. So, so we got. <laughs> so it's pretty intense, intensely cool, man. I love it. Um, so yeah, I'm almost at the end of the strap, so um, once I get towards the end, dude, I'm going to go back to the top with the symbols and adding in accents. And what I mean by adding on in accents, like color, a little bit of color in different colors in with the uh, different symbols. I embroidered on there. This is all hand embroidery, so and it takes takes a while, but it's... It's coming along, and I love how it looks. I'm going to take another photo of it today um, for you guys to see uh, even more detail than you can see on a uh, video. So, yeah, I'm really stoked about it. It's so exciting. I, I'm really enjoying it, and I really thank um, the person that commissioned me to do this piece. It's really helping me um, branch out and do different things. As I said, I was going to to uh, experiment with embroidering on a guitar strap, but I just haven't, so, yeah. <laughs> so, there's another thing that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I've got a, I've got a, I've got an ashtray over here. I don't need to use the shell. Alright, so, um, is this painting? But, <laughs> this is a painting I did, um, I worked on it more. There was, beforehand, it looked a lot different, and I decided to have fun with it because I had acrylic paints, and I was in a mood. And when I'm in a mood to paint, no stopping me. But this is a small painting, um, <clears throat> and you can hang it up on your wall. Um, she reminds me of, like, uh, <clears throat> when I look at this painting, it reminds me of an underworld uh, goddess. The skulls and the and the um, Venus and Willendorf like goddesses. That's what I'm all about. Um, protection of the skulls. Um, some could say it looks like 
a gargoyle kind of. So you can see it looks like, um, and gargoyles represent protection pretty much is what gargoyle is all about in my opinion as far as symbolization of it. Um, yeah, and the teeth makes me think vampire, but then the teeth can be seen in different ways like, <clears throat> so yeah, but I really had a lot of fun with this piece and, um, it can be used as a protection, uh, painting put on your wall to keep away tomfoolery and crazy shit. Um, a lot of my artwork can be used that way, you know, so. I'm charging $60 for this painting, free shipping, so uh, I'm trying to move out a lot of paintings too because I I have no space really that much, you know, to, to hold a lot of these paintings. I have even bigger paintings than this, and I'm trying to sell them, so please, if you're interested, um, please contact me at blacknails31 at yahoo.com if you're interested in this painting or any of the art that you see on my channel that I do on the videos for this show um, for um, cannabis and creativity. So um, I hope you guys uh, find this, what I show you on this channel to help alleviate a lot of the stresses you may be going through with this pandemic, with all the other stuff that's... Um, as a result of the pandemic. A lot of people are stressing out beyond belief. I'm stressing out too, but in a different way. I mean, I've always had these stresses of uh, having to be able to make enough money, you know, to help out. I've always been having those stresses ever since. Ever since, even when I had a job, you know what I mean? Because I felt like a lot of times my jobs weren't completely secure, you know? For some reason they don't like me, they can get rid of me and replace me with somebody else. Which is basically what they've done. I mean, with Whole Foods Market, definitely, where I used to work. So, um, I have that realness of, um, what if we don't have enough money for this month to pay for this, that, and that. I have that in the back of my head. But I don't have it at the forefront of my mind when I'm creating art. Because when I'm creating art, it's a joyous and beautiful experience. But if I'm thinking about all this other stuff, um, am I going to be able to make rent? Am I going to... If I'm like thinking about all of that, my art's going to turn out looking like shit. But if I'm doing it from, you know, pure joy and bliss and contentment and feeling it, really feeling that project, then um, that's a better way for me instead of just living my life feeling like, ah, oh, like I'm just right on the edge of falling off the cliff, you know what I'm saying? So, I hope that what I show you on this channel helps to reassure you that if you're a creative being, you can continue to be creative regardless of what's going on in the world. Because if you continue to be creative, regardless of what's going on in the world, you become a healthier person and you can help others get through the things that you've gotten through. You know, that sounds really cryptic, but... <laughs> Or does it? Maybe not. It's just common sense, really. So, um, be as creative as you can every day. If you find yourself stressing out, sit down and do something creative, whatever it is. Um, look at all my past videos, um, tutorials that I have, art tutorials and things you can do. Some simple stuff, too. And you can check out my Dark Doll channel as well. I have a gazillion tutorials on that channel as well. So, yep. With that said, thanks for joining me today. I hope you had um, I hope you had um, some insights or of any sorts throughout this video because um, you need to take that time out to be creative and uh, tune in to who you are and why you're here on this planet. And if you're feeling like you're a waste of space, then you need to sit down and meditate and realize that you're not a waste of space. You're a creative being on this planet helping to heal this, this world, helping to heal people. Just by what you create, just by what you say, just by what you do, you make an impact in someone's life. So I'm not, I'm not gonna say, I'm, I'm not here gonna talk about let's save the world. I'm saying save yourself and when you save yourself then everything else falls in line and people will be inspired by it what's going on in your world because you've got control of your world and your focus and you're doing things that are healthy to help improve your world so 
With that said, brightest blessings to y'all. I'll see you soon. And if you do want to purchase this piece, please feel free to contact me at blacknails31 at yahoo.com. Or you can just, I'm thinking about trying to put it on Etsy again, see if I, my phone will work for that. So, I haven't gotten a new uh, camera yet, so uh, that'll be a while before I, when I can really afford it. So, if you want to donate to my PayPal, Google Pay, or Cash App, feel free to do that. That'll be in the links in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me. Brightest blessings to you all, and stay creative and highly elevated.